Hey everybody, Lexi here with you, and today we're gonna to be trying nail art with Blue So to start off with, we are going to be applying some black gel polish from I Amily. Amily. I don't know how to pronounce it. I just use that. Pol don't mind me. It's it's a little bit dirty, but I I love this polish because it's just like one coat and it's like super opaque. But I do need to find another one, a new one, because this one is like pretty much done. And um, I would love to try some new black polish. Maybe that's a thing that we can do in the future. You know, just just try to find that like really nice opaque black. But yeah, for now, uh, I'm gonna be putting some a uh, little bit on the side because I'm gonna need it later. And now we're gonna be using this from the same brand, Amy Lee. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know how else to pronounce it, but the white. And we're gonna paint just one nail and put some on the side, obviously. I'm totally not dropping some on the way, but uh, and then we're gonna be applying a really cute gel polish. There's no name on them. It's the neon collection, the color purple, and again, put some on the side and cure it. So, first nail. Uh, I just wanted to try the Savvyland Blooming Gel. I've never tried it before. No, not really true. I did try it to kind of blend in some colors on one of the videos I did previously, but I haven't actually played with Blooming Gel, so I wanted to try mixing in some paints uh, with it, but this Amy gel polish is really not mixing in with it. Like, it's so weird. It's, it's just kind of like, it really seems like they're two different type of gels, but we're still gonna be trying to apply some just blooming gel to try to see if we can separate that layer and just kind of test what effect we can come up with. I'm, I'm kind of really like free handing here and just, you know, testing the waters, see what we get. And if it fails, eh, we'll, we'll just keep playing around with it until we get something cool, right? That That's, that's my philosophy. <laughs> Uh, for this nail, uh, my plan again is apply some blooming gel and just to see like if I applied just the white gel polish directly from the start, what it's going to do, like how much is going to bloom and um, hopefully do something cute, but it's actually blooming pretty fast to be honest with you. Um, probably should have cured it, but uh, no, I only cured one nail and let the other one go so we're going to be applying again some blooming gel on this nail and uh i wanted to try my um hand at a little kind of rose i've never done it so i just wanted to see if i could achieve some cute kind of flower with it I, I mean i just wanted to do something simple and see like what we can come up with and i mean it's it's cute it's it's coming along And uh, now I noticed that nail and I decided to cure it. So coming back to this nail, I'm going to be adding some black in order to kind of define it more and, and try to accentuate the nail a little bit more. We're gonna go and cure it. And now I wanted to try to see like if we apply some black, how it's going to go on this nail. And I have no really particular design. I just wanted to do something different. Um, even though this kind of turned out to look uh, a little bit like a flower, but wasn't my intention. I just wanted to see what it would look like and how it would spread. So um, this turned out to look pretty gray. I didn't expect it to totally cover the black, but it did. So we're gonna add some black back into the mix to kinda darken it a little bit to make it match more of the other nails. Mm -hmm. 
Now for uh, this nail, I decided to add a little bit more color just because it felt a little nude um, and just kind of probably go into a more marble kind of type thing. Yeah, again, I'm just swinging it. Now going back to this one, I really am not liking. So the sides, I decided to kind of just marble it to kind of match the other nail and uh, to see like, if it would look cool to just add a little bit more definition back into the nail. And now we're gonna cure it. With the last nail, while the other ones cure, I decided to just try marbling directly to see how it's going to work. We're now going to cure that nail and while that cures, I'm going to go back and I don't know why this nail just wasn't speaking to me. I don't know if that's the right expression, but that's that's just how it felt. It felt like it was missing something. So I'm just going to go in um, and try to define it more and to try to accentuate the lining a bit, but I'm going to cure it and work on it a little bit later. Uh, th so this nail, I was like, okay, it looks like a flower, so let's try to define it a little bit with some white, but I don't know, like more that I looked at it, the more I was like, no, I don't, this, this just doesn't work. I don't want that. So let's just wipe it off and go in with some blooming gel and just make it bloom a little bit more to cover up most of the purple um, that's kind of like where I'm going with this to so just try to see uh, if we could get the black to spread even more um, and well obviously um, it did <laughs> maybe a little too much which ended up being a mess and uh, you can't see it because obviously I'm off camera because like, I mean, why, why would I not be, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go in with some purple to try to re-add the, the details that were there before the, it overbloomed, And it's kind of hard to work with, to be honest with you. I wasn't expecting the blooming to kind of marbleize in different direction. I was kind of thinking that it was gonna spread into one direction but it doesn't it's just really random and really hard to control so I think I need more practice with the blooming gel so here we're just gonna be added some little black dots just to add some little definition and just because it was I don't know bare so yeah And this nail, I'm, I'm going to add some white and just try to make the marbling kind of pop more because I don't know. I Me, when I don't like a nail, I just keep working on it until I do. That's my way of doing things. And I'm going to use some alcohol just to define the edges and to thin out the edges and to kind of make it uh, look more like cracks. And yeah, I'm just going to keep working on it until I'm satisfied. Now that I'm satisfied, we're going to go and cure them. Now we're going to be applying some top coat to seal in the design. But 
looking at it, I feel like there's missing something. So I'm gonna take out some Savvy Land painting gel, the silver uh, color. I'm just gonna go in, even though I already applied the top coat, it doesn't matter. It's just gonna help it spread around. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of detailing, just to add that little extra detail. Now we're done, we're gonna cure it, and voila! Look how gorgeous they look! I'm kinda happy, even though um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting the blooming gel to work this way, so I definitely need to keep practicing, but it still came out pretty good. So that was my first attempt at nail art with blooming gel. Not bad for first try. Definitely need some practice. But if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like. And of course, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you all next video. Bye!